Okay, I should be live and back after a couple days of not streaming. I've been a bit sick, still a little sick, but uh, at least now I can talk, hopefully. Uh, so I'm going to play the... Uh, ooh, no, I have to join the tournament. I forgot to join. I think I joined in time. Okay, uh, we're going to play 10-minute chess. Uh, let's play... I don't know what to play. We'll start with a London, if he lets me. Yeah, bishop f4. Hello to Bora Cairo. Thanks for being the first commenter. Uh, yeah, e6 and c5. So we're transposing into perhaps a more main line after knight f3. And in this position, I like to play a tricky move, knight c3. Ideas of playing d5. Also ideas of playing knight b5. Hello to the gamer. Ooh, okay, d5 is a blunder because knight b5 just wins, uh, wins everything. <laughs> um, the best move for black was c take d4, not d5. Uh, yeah, this is a nice trap in the London, which actually not too many people know about. Knight c3 is a pretty rare move. Um, and now he'll probably just cry, realizing there's no way to stop knight c7. I guess he could play e5, but then knight take e5. There's still issues. Uh, yeah, hello to more people. Hello, Jennifer2, Rafrika, cool guy, Yaniv KZ. Just in time to see the first uh, the first game. Um, yeah, one bit about this opening after I play my next move. Just c3, I think. Um, for anyone who plays this setup as black and you don't know what to do against knight c3, I think it's best to take, and after e take, uh, bishop b4. And it's playable for both sides. But um, yeah, queen a5 doesn't solve anything. Knight c7 is still coming. Knight h5, okay. I'm considering bishop c7, but then b6. So knight c7. Stuff can get traded. At the very least, I'll win the exchange. It'll take some time for him to win the knight. I assume he's going to play like king d8, and we'll trade on f4. Hello to Schmelder. Good to see you back. I would have been proud of your last game. Ah. Yeah, I would like to see your game. Was it a London opening? <laughs> if it was a London, I would like to see it even more. It's hard to get the London in every game, though, um, unless you're white. Okay, so we're trading more. My knight's a goner. I guess I'll just take. I mean, trading doesn't uh, it doesn't really hurt me. I don't mind to simplify. Trying to think like how he's gonna win the knight. So if I can save the knight, then I'll just be up a rook. Not the easiest piece to save. If he lets me, I'll probably play bishop b5. Maybe even some move like b4. Chase away the queen. Um for the time being, I'm going to turn off challenges. Because I won't be accepting any challenges as long as I'm playing in this tournament. So I'll just do this real quick. Privacy, never. Okay. Sorry, people who are challenging me. Maybe I'll accept challenges if I'm alive after this tournament. But we'll see. It's a two hour long tournament, so I don't know if I'll get through this tournament. Can I play b4 here? Does b4 win more material? Knight take b4. Pawn take before, queen take before, then he wins the knight. Or I can take on c6 and then play b4. That looks decent. So 
We'll get a couple of pawns, but okay, I'm winning the bishop. Can you go over how to be d4, c6? Wait, d4, c6? Knight f3, d5, bishop f4. It's a good line for white, but can't find a solid advantage in prepping for someone. Um, so basically, London against some kind of Slav setup. What is queen? Okay, queen e4. This is a bit annoying because I don't want to give away g2. If I play like queen e3, he comes back to b4. I guess I can't get everything that I want. I have to make a choice between playing bishop e2 or maybe like queen e3, queen b4, king d1. Hmm. Or king d1 here even. Maybe king d1 here. And he has queen a4. That's actually kind of annoying. Okay, let's calculate. Queen e3, queen b4, king d1, queen a4. I could play king c1. Then there's no more checks. I'm ready to play some rook b1 move. I think that's okay. Because his queen is not enough to cause me issues. Like he would need to bring in his bishop and his rook. But he's so slow in doing so. And in the meantime, I'm up a rook and a knight. For two pawns. Um, yeah, to answer Schmelder's question, I would recommend delaying e3. I do have to be careful. If queen a4, queen b3, he would have queen d4 winning the rook. Have to watch out for forks. Um, okay, so here's what I can say to Schmelder. After d4, c6, knight f3, d5, bishop f4. Um, well, it depends what black does. Because if black plays... Okay, if black plays one of the main ideas of the line, queen b6, you can usually sack the b-pawn. You can play knight bd2. Queen take b2 and e4. Um, and that's one key variation. Um, but if I if I get through this tournament and I'm still streaming, ask me later, because then I can go through it in some kind of uh, analysis board. Uh, but hello to more people. Good to see there's more new viewers. Funny animator Jim TV. Um, I'm always happy to play the London system. Toilet Noggin is back. Ooh, maybe I'll have to play an exchange Roy. Just in honor of Toilet Noggin. Jacob Butley, hello. I guess I could have played Bishop E2 in Queenside Castle. Maybe that would have been strong because then his queen would have been out of play. But I like this position. <clears throat> Um, he's probably going to play something like this. <coughs> and then, okay, he'll win the knight, but I'll be up a rook. I would like to play queen b3. I have to make sure f4 is defended. Looking at bishop b7, rook b1, bishop take a8. Hmm. I don't think there's any immediate kill. But okay, d4 I think makes life easier. Now I can... Okay, we're either trading queens or he has to retreat. Then I'll develop my bishop and be happy. <laughs> When is my next tournament? Um, I actually don't know. I just finished playing a couple events in Europe. So, okay, let's have standings turned on. Um, I, yeah, I don't know when my next tournament is. 
I might play some uh, some side events in St. Louis, like during Sinkfeld Cup. I think they usually have like a a blitz or blockhouse tournament. His queen is being annoying. King D one's fine. Um, I'm drinking tea. Oh, what <laughs> what kind of tea am I drinking? Okay, so I'll show this because. I think it suits the stream title pretty well. I went shopping today and I bought this tea. It has chess pieces on it. I have no idea. I think it's some sort of like black tea, but it was like screaming to be to be bought. Um so hopefully it's good for my chess. What rating is a my system book aimed at? I actually can't answer that. I've I have not read my system. I think it's aimed at like just general. There's a pretty big range of players. Be like, I don't even want to give her a range, but okay. I won this game. Back to tournament. Uh, okay. Some people are ahead of me who berserked. Winnie ninety four has already played two games. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm recovering from a cold. If anyone watched my last stream, I was suffering at the end of it, uh, so I took a break for two days. Okay, let's play... what do I want to play? Let's play e5. I will take opening suggestions too. Ooh, King's Gambit. What do I play against King's Gambit? Let's play something weird. Let's play knight c6. I usually play d5, but I'll play this variation, f5. Nakamura played this once against Ivanchuk, and then he lost. This guy seems somewhat well prepared, but okay. And this is a completely new opening for me because <laughs> I'm I'm out of preparation after e or after f five. Uh, I assume I can take with this pawn and then win f five. Looks pleasant. Maybe white will play g4? Oh, go for it. Okay, this just looks good for black. He's playing so quickly. Queen e2. So he wants to play d3, but now he's blocking in this bishop. It's usually not that great for white. Um, the most natural move here is bishop c5 and castling, but that could potentially run into queen c4 check. So I have to be a bit careful with how I develop. Leaning towards bishop d6, and then if he plays d3, I can just castle. If he takes twice on e4, or three times on e4, I would have rook e8 in the end to win the queen. Um, I guess the other option is bishop b4, but that could still run into queen c4 stuff. So I'll play this. Because um, if he plays d3, and then I castle, the opening of the the e-file will favor me, because his queen and king are just kind of stuck in the center. Uh, yeah, I'll take... <clears throat> Is he going to take on e4? No, he's not. He sees rook e8. But this is already, like, I think really bad for white. Okay, bishop e3 is reasonable, because now he wants to castle queenside. But it's my move. Positions like this, where you're ahead in development, you want to look for ways to just seize initiative. I mean, I could just win a pawn and prevent white from castling. I'm also considering queen h4 check. Let's see his bishop f2, but then I can take on f4. One idea is g3, queen f6, so I'm attacking the rook and the b2 pawn. We play queen f2, then we trade. I'm winning pawns. He plays bishop g2. It doesn't work. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. He still has queen c4 check ideas. So if I play like queen h4, g3, and queen f6. Oh, queen c4, bishop d5. Okay. 
I think I can go for that line. And something's gonna fall. There's so many targets. Like the king, the pawn, the other pawn, this rook, the pawn. He's not going to defend everything. Yeah, so this is one line I, I calculated and just assumed that I could take and play rook e8. Pin the bishop. Could take on b2, but I'll play rook e8. Um, threatening bishop f or bishop to c5. He probably has to play king e2 or king, king f2. And now I can start taking stuff. This is pleasant. Winning some pawns. Ooh, I really want to take. Because if rook take, I win the rook. If king take, bishop. Wait a minute. Also, don't want to overthink this. King take, rook e8 check. King f2, bishop c5, king f1. Ah, then queen b5. Wait, I think this is working. Rook take e3. King take e3. Rook e8. King f3. Because if king f2, bishop c5... Okay, this has to be good. Wait, there's also king d2, but then bishop b4. If king d3... Queen b5. Wait, one more line to calculate. Take, take. Oh, there's also queen c3 check. And if king f2, it's simpler, because here... Wait, I'm confusing myself. I mean, there's honestly no need to go for this. I can just take on c2 and be up a couple pawns. Okay, I'm not going to confuse myself. I'm just going to take on c2. Not going to be fancy. Um, yeah, let's just simplify. I'm going to be very boring. Just simplify and get this game over with. I haven't really been looking at the chat. I'm sorry about that. Adelaide Counter Gambit. I was just in Adelaide like six months ago. Six months ago, maybe eight months ago. Okay, I'm just gonna take. Looks good enough. Ooh. Okay, well, now I think I'm trapping the bishop because I have b6 and rook a8. Unless he's somehow tricky. He's going to play like rook d2 or something. <laughs> and then go for bishop take b6. Which is a little bit annoying. But then I can win the a2 pawn. Okay, so we're just trading. I'll win on a2 with check, and I'll play rook c2, and it uh, should be an easy conversion. Two connected passers. Make sure his king can't get too active. Let's play rook c5. This is a nice prophylactic move. And then I'll just start pushing the b pawn. Some weird line, rook b8, rook b5, we trade, okay, never mind. Oh, what is going on? I could play rook c2. Rook c2 looks nice. Then he checks on d7. Okay, I'll start with like some useful king move. 
Let's play king e6. Just to improve the king. If he ever plays this, I can trade rooks. If he plays this, he's just passive. I'll keep pushing. This endgame technique. Not the best technique, but getting the job done, I think. He can't take on b3 because c4. Hey, I win a rook. Okay, <laughs> it took a while. Um, that was an interesting opening. At first I thought he was in prep, but I think he was just trying to... I don't, I don't know what he was doing, he was playing a bit too quickly. Um, yeah, it's an interesting King's Gambit line, f5. I think it's pretty rare, but it's playable. Uh, back to tournament. Hello, Messi Marvin. I have not been looking at the chat, but I see I see the message from Messi Marvin. Thanks for the sub. Poyo294. I assume it's Poyo and not Paulo. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I have not been looking at stream notifications. But thank you to anyone who have, who's been following or subbing. Uh, I've just been so focused on chess. And I'm behind in the... Behind Colorado Blunder, berserking and winning every game. Uh, okay, thanks to the people who followed Findable Chicken, Maguvang, some names I can't pronounce. Interesting. Um, I'll scroll up and try and see if I. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so many questions. Can I play some Carol Khan today? Asked by Jennifer too. I could pre-move c6. Carol Khan. Okay. Uh, d5. Okay, I'm devoting this game to Jennifer too. If I lose, then I'm just blaming on, on Jennifer too. Um, because I usually don't play Carol Khan, but I'm gonna play this line with knight f6. I think it's uh it's supposed to be a solid variation. Play one knight c6 against e4. It's playable. Arlson has been playing it recently. Okay, now I'm a bit conflicted because I I think both moves are playable. E take f6 is far more common. But I'm gonna make things dynamic. I'll take with the G pawn. Because it gives me a G file. Um, I guess I can start with rook g8. And try and discourage white from casting kingside. <laughs> and at this point I'm probably just improvising. Uh, queen d5 I think is some idea. Let's play queen d5 right away. Feels a bit wrong because I'm developing my major pieces before my minor pieces. But it's interesting. You might play g3, bishop g2, but then I have bishop g4. Bishop g4 is coming pretty soon. Or bishop f5. There's some question about this bishop. What to do with it? Maybe I have ideas like bishop g4, queen h5, and bishop h6. Trade off the dark sword bishops. Loster369, thanks for the sub. Let me reconfigure my window so I can see notifications. There we go. Okay, so he plays queen d2. He might want a castle, but a2 would hang. So I'll play this. Maybe he'll play c4. Snipe Gizmo, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I'm just trying to apply some pressure. And just complete development too. Uh, knight b6. Or knight, uh, thinking ahead, but knight d7 should be coming. 
I forgot I allowed him to play bishop e2 because I'm no longer attacking the g-pawn. Let's just play knight d7. We'll see what he does. Because whichever way he castles, okay, he can't castle queenside right away, but wherever his king goes, I can try and attack. Debating here between queen f5 and queen h5. Hmm. Looks weird, but I'm going to play queen f5. Maybe it's a wrong choice. Let's see. I want to play knight b6. Maybe put a rook on d8. Also target c4. Who's the best player I've ever played? I played Carlson in soccer and basketball, but not in chess. Ah, uh, I can't play bishop h5 because g4. It's a bit sad, so I have to take... Yeah, this is probably slightly worse for black. Because white has a bishop pair now. And more space. But I get knight b6 in. Attack the pawn. Whoa. Did you just give me the c4 pawn? I think that's a free pawn, unless I'm missing something. I don't think I'm missing something. Take. Here, take. Can you take on c6? That might be annoying. Hmm. I have queen b5. Yeah, let's take. White's probably going to get some kind of compensation. I forgot about queen b4. But I can take on e3. If he takes on b7, it'll be interesting. Please take on b7. No, okay. I wanted to mate him on c2. Well, now I could queenside castle. That runs into bishop g4. Play queen d7, but that runs into this. So what do I do? Queen b5 loses a pawn. I could play rook b8. Or I could calculate queen d7 because it could get interesting after something like c5. And he can't take on c5. We have bishop h6 coming. Okay, I'll play this. To manage my time a little bit. Gabriel Thomas Newton, thanks for the follow. Toilet noggin is eating. Okay, enjoy your food. Weird position, but I'm I'm feeling okay here. Debating e6, probably not necessary. Bishop h6 looks interesting. Let's pressure the pawn. I feel like black's pawns should be on light squares. Just because of this obstacle or bishop situation. I'll go ahead and play e6 and then probably f5. And it comes with tempo. Thanks for the follow. Attila or Atia 665. Yeah, I just have to manage time. 
Wow, I've won. I've only won two games so far. So many people are ahead of me. Um, I might have to up the pace somehow, some way. Okay, maybe now I can castle queenside. And we'll just have some position where I'm up upon. Good evening from Swan Sea. Where is Swan Sea? I don't think I've heard of that before. Super Salian. Good to see you back. Watching pretty often. For possum or raccoon? Am I losing a pawn? Forgot about that move. Wait, I don't think I'm losing a pawn. But maybe I am. Rook g6. This could get really weird. Rook g6, bishop h5, rook here. g4. Okay, go for some weird stuff. We'll see if he's brave enough to take on h7. I don't think I would be brave enough. Bishop h5 would be... Oh, wow, he's so brave. Okay, so rook h6, queen g8. I have some discovery. I could also play bishop h6 right away. He has to defend the pawn. Hmm. What to do? I have some idea of bishop h6, bishop g5, rook h6. I'm going to start with this. I want to see how he defends the pawn. Because it's not the easiest pawn to defend. He does this, I could do this. He does this, and he has less pressure on the f file. Be nice if he does that. Okay, he plays rook f e1. How do I trap the queen? This is still coming. Looking at this move, and then this. Not sure if it works though. Very strange position. Also just play this. Getting low on time, I should probably move. Some crazy idea of like queen here, here, and then taking. It's too slow though. Okay, this is not the move I want to play, but I think it's a solid move. Bishop g7. It has a sneaky threat to it. Make sure that if he plays bishop h5, he's not winning f7. We'll see what he does. Now I really gotta manage my time. Two minutes, there's no increment. And now it's equal material.
Very soon I'll play f5. And something like bishop f6. My queen probably wants to maneuver somewhere better. I'm going to play much quicker. I have some half open files on the king's side. Not sure if it it's that easy to exploit, but maybe something like rook h8 at some point. Uh, g4, a bit unexpected. I can take. g4 is a good move. Now I want to play f5, kick away the bishop, make sure that he can't pressure the f-file too much. e4, interesting. Bring the queen to e7, some sneaky threats. Long June Silver, thanks for the follow. Yeah, so the one of the main goals is to play quickly and come back a bit on time. He still has an annoying time advantage. Whoa, that's a good move. Should probably play King B8. Oh, also A7 is attacked. Wow. Very strong move. Okay, so I'm worse on time. I'm worse in position. But anything can happen. It's good he's thinking. Do this. Let's trade queens. He's gonna win the e6 pawn. And we'll get some weird endgame. Uh, I'll take care first. Good thing is there's opposite color bishops, so there's drawing chances. There's also still winning chances. These positions can be very deceiving. Of course, black is still much worse. Now I want to do this. Or this. Still down on time, down upon. Ah, oh, this is tough. Rook g1. Good thing is my bishop is good at controlling h8, which is one of his queening squares. Okay, rook g1. I can do this. Then rook a1. Okay, time is almost about level. Prevent him from pushing the pawn.
I made him somehow? Rook h3 and then some weird stuff. King c4, a6. Threatening mates. How does he stop it? Wait, he's in some kind of pickle here. This king is completely stuck. This rook can move, kind of. Um, I'm just going to keep waiting. See how he untangles. Hmm. I don't want to draw this. I actually want to play for a win. Wait, he's just giving me a pawn. I'll take that. Okay, now I'm playing for a win. Uh, okay, he's being tricky. That's a good move, actually. Um, what do I do? Okay, let's do this. I'm finally up on time. It's a miracle. Go for a c4. This bishop's out of play. Rook here is coming. Walk in with my king. Mm, throw in a check. Yeah, I'm on the verge of winning. Orf just flagging him. Okay, that was stressful. Somehow I won that. I'm probably not deserving, but that's the nature of chess. Um, yeah, I probably just played some dubious opening. Queen H4 was a good move. I probably took too long around here, and then, yeah, this endgame, it's, uh, it looked pretty grim until, <laughs> until I came back. Uh, okay, back to tournaments. Um, I'm sorry if I missed anything in the chat. Um... Funny animator Jim TV says hurry. I was hurrying, kind of. Two come a plays finally caught a stream. Nice. Um. Okay. Well, I'm I'm not doing that great in the tournament, but I'm top ten. On a man TG. Thanks for the follow. I'm gonna play a London. Ooh, I forgot to play e4. Maybe I'll do that next time. I think knight d2, play c3, then knight d2. Old player, 1992, thanks for the follow. If I missed anything important in the chat, feel free to repeat yourself. Um, hello to Fina Monkey. Said good evening like a while ago. Um, okay, queen d7, play knight f3, I think. Ideas of 95. Wait, 95 is really strong here, right? I don't know any theory, but it looks like a good move. Because if he takes, and then I take, and then he moves a knight, I have bishop b5. Lacor, thanks for the follow. Wait, no, that's an S. Snackor. Small font is tricky to read. Okay, so I assume he's going to play this. Yeah. Now, can I just take, take, take? I'm threatening the knight. I'm threatening this. I'll be winning two pawns. But he'll win a pawn back. I'm just going to trust my intuition. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. 
but I don't see how he defends both threats. Probably have to do something like this, and then I take. And at the very least, I'll be up a pawn with a good position. Ooh. That's an interesting move. He wants to take on g2. Stardust, 16x, thanks for the follow. I could play f3. And find what would not approve. I could take. Ooh, I could take. And then if he takes on g2, I have rook g1 with the skewer. Please take on g2. Please. I mean, whatever he does, the position is going to be good for white. He takes back. I'll play this. I wonder if he's watching. Might be watching and just realizing my ideas. Okay, I'm just gonna trade. Wait a minute. This could be pretty powerful. If I play bishop b5, forcing bishop c6, and then rook d1. And he has to play this. I would like to leave the tension or build up pressure somehow. to do okay good position let's not overthink this i'm just going to castle if he ever plays rook g8 i can i have many ways to defend g2 to play f3 or bishop g3 so he wants to castle i'd like to play rook d4 but that runs into this so i'm going to start with bishop g3 and now i have ideas of just doubling up I also have ideas of this, pinning the bishop to the queen. Then the bishop would be pinned in two directions. And maybe I, I combine rook c4 and queen a4. Okay, he really wants to play h4. But do I care? I don't think I care. Rook c4. Do I have bishop e5? Bishop e5 right away. Huh. This could get a bit weird. There's rook c4, h4, bishop e5, or just bishop f4. Maybe bishop f4. Okay. What if g3 instead of. Wait. Fat Brad, what if instead of g3 you went h7? I don't understand that. Instead of bishop g3? Uh, I, I don't think I understand that. Maybe he's saying bishop h6. Maybe it was a possible move. Okay, so he plays h4. Bishop e5 is tempting. But then f6 here, e5. I'll just do this. I don't know why Automod blocked blocked a comment. Bishop d6. Allow. Okay. Hello, Joshua. Good to see you, Joshua. H3. Now I kind of have to play g3. Looks ugly. Maybe I could just play queen a4. And if he takes on g2, rook d1. Now this is a problem with the bishop being pinned in so many different directions. If he takes on b5, I take the queen with check. And meanwhile, defending this or this. So black's in trouble. 
Bishop d6 aggressive. Bishop d6 is too aggressive. <laughs> I have a question. Are mod mods are allowed to approve comments, right? They should be. Or they're allowed to like ban comment or block users or I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna play rook d1. My king is super safe. This pawn gives me shelter. And with rook d1, I control the d file, so Whoa, he castles. Well now bishop h6 is some idea. We'll probably just take first. I'm conflicted. I want to mate him. I also want to win the c6 pawn. Maybe just winning c6 and then... Where is this queen going? Because I have... Uh, if queen b7, rook c7. He's going to play queen f3. My rook's defended. I win the bishop. Trade. Okay. I'm winning the bishop. What was my rating after a year of playing? I could look that up. Go ahead and look that up. Um... I'm going to my website to go to my profile. And then after a year of playing, we're going to take the bishop. Is it 1 through 50? Or no, it's 300. So I started in 2001. So I think it was around... Yeah, it was about 1,200, I think, after a year. Okay, I can take the rook and play rook e8. Oh, this king's in trouble. But, like, my first year of playing chess, I, I was really into it. I got a coach pretty early on um and i was a kid so i just learned I, I learned things at a quicker rate okay where's the mate check not going to calculate i'm just going to keep checking until it's mate Keep checking. Mm, this is good enough. Okay, that was a, a feel good game. What did he do wrong? Yeah, he fell for some. I don't know if this is theory or not, but 95 seems like a problem for black. I think usually black is supposed to play queen c8 to avoid this 95 type move. Back to tournament. Colorado Blunder lost, but he's still in first place. Wait, he lost? I don't think he lost. It looks like he drew a game. I'm very far behind. Um, but I'm slow and steady. Henry Chinask lost a game. Sometimes the strategy with these tournaments is just play as many games as possible and berserk every game, which isn't my strategy. Uh, we'll see if slow and steady can actually work out. Hopefully I get to play like one of these, these top players. Uh, what to play? Let's play a Sicilian. Previously I played Karo Khan. Thank you, Matt F8 for the follow. B4. I studied this opening recently because I thought I was going to run into it in a tournament. Um, I think the best line is to take and play D5. 
Whoa, E5. What is this? This looks suspicious. I haven't committed to E6, so I can develop the bishop. Oh, what to do? Play D4. Or is interesting. Play B3. I just want to get a position where I know where I know where my pieces want to go. Thing about these lines is if white like takes and then plays d4 or c3, the center is very solid. D4 right away doesn't seem right. Okay, I'll play bishop f5. Looks like a normal move. If we get some French structure, I want my bishop outside of the pawn chain. I'm actually threatening some kind of funny double attack with this. Which, did he just walk into this? Looks interesting. I don't think he can defend both things. He does have that move. I have this move. It's a good sign he's thinking, because he's out of any like opening preparation. Not so chess. Telling me not to berserk. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna berserk. Um I like my time to think. So Queen takes e2. Oh, then he takes here. I have to take with king. Uh, looks reasonable. We're trading queens, I think. He might get comp. But uh, it looks like a position. <coughs> okay, let's retreat. Yeah, white's going to have compensation here. Like the a half open A file is going to be annoying. This pin will be annoying. Developing like the king side will be annoying. But I do have a pawn. And probably the path for development is e6. I attack the pawn. He'd probably someday play bishop d2. And then bring the knight in. I play a6 here. a6 is a nice move too. Make him decide what to do with the bishop. Because in some cases he would like to create this pin. Preserve the bishop. So bishop a4, okay. So if I play b5, b5 is probably a blunder because bishop b3, then he has a double threat against both pawns. I have knight b6. Defending, defending. Maybe b5 is possible. Is there any rush? So if I play this first, he plays this, I take. Takes with knight, that's annoying. So e6, b5, knight b6. It's decent. Yeah, I'll start with e6. Just want to see what he does. I don't want to castle queenside. Uh, grand eggplant. Castling queenside, okay, maybe it's playable, but it just, I don't know, my king would then be a target on the c file. Normally the king would like to stay in the center. And I would like to bring these pieces into the game as quickly as possible. Okay, so 92. That's a bit slow. Hmm. 
The problem with b5 is it, it creates a long-term backward pawn on a6. I could do this and this and then this. Okay. I kind of like that plan. Because then my bishop can find a home on some square. Sometimes it's it's an issue with this e7 square because both the, the bishop and the knight want to access it. Another benefit with bishop d8 is that he can't invade with any rook c7. Now all these squares are controlled. So he could control the open file, but he can't really penetrate. I'm doing a good job, says all brown 87. Well, thank you. Appreciate the support. It's, it's very difficult sometimes to actually play decent quality chess and interact with the entire chat. And also asking or also answering questions. I might just have to do a separate stream to answer questions. Like scrolling up here, I just see so many questions. It's difficult to answer everything. Okay, so my original idea is knight b6, attacking the bishop. You can also play a5 to try and close things down. But let's calculate. Knight b6. If he takes, I take the bishop. He takes here, I play this. And yeah, everything's under control. And if he plays bishop b3 or bishop c2, it could be a bit annoying. So maybe I just play a5. a5, finding b6. If he plays b6 himself, I just take it. And he can't access b1 because my bishop on f5 is such a good piece. But he'll play knight b5. So here, here, take knight b5. Uh, yeah, it's a bit annoying. So I have bishop d3 here. Just like kind of intermesso, or just like counterattacking move. But I don't think he has time to do anything on the queen side. He has to play rook e1. Then I could even... Maybe then I go for that line. I'm going to start with bishop d3. Forgot about that move. And something I should have just considered much earlier. Expecting this. And then a5, e6. Bishop take b6, and the difference is knight b5, I can just take it. And then I'm up two pawns. And then knight e7, knight c6. Still kind of want to take, but okay, I'll go for this. Ooh, there's a move that I forgot about, which I'm not going to say because he might be watching. Yeah, I forgot about <laughs> this knight f4 move. I don't think it's a huge issue. So I have bishop c4. This is okay. Bishop c4, take, take. I have knight b6 in some cases. Yeah, there's not too much time to think, so I just gotta trust my intuition. He's getting compensation, though. My pawns are kind of weak. Still want to do this, so he stops me. 
Ah, uh, that's actually a very strong move. Yeah, this is not going to be easy. I could actually be worse here. Huh. Maybe g5. Chase away the knight. Or 97 right away. If I take on b6, he has rook b1, so... Uh, okay, this is very uncomfortable. Try and survive. The pin is so annoying. Oh, really? Interesting. If I take, he has e6. Oh, this is not pleasant. Let's play this. Take, 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 take. Mm, anything else? I don't think I can take and allow e6. Okay. Try and survive. He's been resourceful. I'm still up a pawn. I'm up a pawn. He's keeping all the tension. I can't castle. G7's hanging. Be king f7. And then he takes and plays e6. Wow. Maybe rook g8. Uh, he also wants to take on a5. Uh, the position is just falling apart. And I'm low on time. What to do? <coughs> and Maybe a4. Doing something. Okay. So he has e6 if he wants. Or not. Knight c5 maybe? At least it's some active move. And these squares could be nice. I'm controlling e6. My time situation. It's equal material. It's such a weird position. Okay, e6, I guess. Ah, this is hanging. Mm. What to do? Yeah, chess is tough. Uh, what do I even do here? Play this. Time situation is so bad. And I'm now down a pawn, but I have knights. He has a bishop here. He wants to do this. Okay, let's take. Oh, this is so bad. The two bishops are so strong, especially combined with a pass pawn. 
This is really bad. Don't kill me. That's a good move. I do. Trying to get counterplay. It's not really working though. Wow, Bishop C4? He's giving me some hope. Should still be completely winning for white, but I don't think Bishop C4 was necessary. I have hope now. I have 23 seconds, so it's not too much hope. I think he's trying to play on time. Maybe the one thing that can give me hope if he, play, if he tries to flag me and then plays bad moves. Uh. Okay, I want to take on e7. Ah, that's not good. This is really not good. Whoa, what is this? Four seconds left. What to do? I'm trying to fight. This is difficult. <laughs> I have some blockade. On the light squares. Please just repeat. Or stalemate me, that would be nice. Please stalemate me. Ah, uh, it's not stalemate. No. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Um, it got weird. Felt like I was getting some counterplay. The bishop on b2. I was fantasizing about knight c1, but probably never had a chance to work. Also, he had rook d8 here. Rook d8 and then take, take f7 would win. Um, yeah, it's a tough game. Is a Fisher trap any good? I don't know what the Fisher trap is. I'm gonna have to explain. Um, yeah, maybe bishop d3 was a bad move because knight f4, but he was getting counterplay. I think I underestimated his uh, his compensation. D five so resourceful. If I have like one more move to play knight c six, it's still complicated though. Okay, back to tournaments. Chess is tough. Chess is really tough. I'm in thirteenth place.
for one loss. Um, I think I lost a lot of the rating points too. Okay, let's try and come back. I'll play e4. Do something different than the London. Um, I could play b4. No, let's play a, a knight c3 Sicilian. It's one of my favorite openings. Play a Grand Prix attack. Pass pawn 99. Uh, it's going okay. Chess is tough. Prevent b5. Uh, let's prevent d5. I just want a castle. Three. He's doing some unusual move order. I'm going to play queen e1. It's a very common idea in this sort of opening. E3. I'll try and move quicker compared to previous games. I'm going to play bishop uh, e3 or bishop a2. Play bishop a2. Idea being that if he plays d5, I can respond right away with e5. And king h1. And then bishop b1. So this is, uh, okay, it looks unusual, but the long-term idea is to play this, and then this, and then this, and then this. And then h7 will someday be attacked by my bishop. Let's see if this is actually doable. Well, it might be happening. e5. It's going to happen. Because I'm going to play c3, d4, and he can't stop it. Um, knight g4. Oh, my bishop is so well placed on b1 now. Um, okay, it's really hard to keep up with the chat. Uh, pass pawn 99. When you get paid next week, you're buying the whole DVD. Nice. I would recommend buy the buy the digital download because it's essentially the same thing. Um, don't buy the physical DVD. I guess you could if you want. Um, but yeah, for anyone who's uh, like if who, for anyone who's bought the course or is interested in buying the course and you have questions, just let me know. Uh, queen g3. Queen g3 looks decent. I could also just play h3, knight h6, and g4. So many tempting choices. Play knight g5. So conflicted. Also play f5. f5 actually looks very enticing because he can't take because I take with bishop. I'm gonna play f5. This is why it's important to like to cycle through candidate moves. You might see one move. Like initially, I saw queen g3. It looked good, but then I saw other options like h3 then i finally saw f5 which i think is the strongest because now i want to play h3 if knight h6 i can take it put the pawn in f6 this is looking nice um oh for anyone who's interested in buying the course uh i can share a link which is, gives you i think 50 percent off um at some point, I'll probably do a promotional stream, but uh, there's a link if anyone's interested. H6 now, or H3 now. And this is, this is almost just over. Because the knight's trapped. He has to, yeah. He has to go into this. 
Calculate, tick, tick. Do I have F6 right away? I'm trying to find the winning idea after take, take, F6, bishop here, queen g3, king h8. It's so close to winning. How do I mate? All I need to do is attack h7. Maybe knight g5 there. h8 g5, then queen d3. You can't defend h7. Okay, let's do one more cycle of calculation. Bishop take h6, pawn take h6. I guess he could sack on f6, but let's say bishop f8. Here, here, knight g5. I'm threatening f7, h7, so he would take, and then I play queen d3. And my queen bishop battery is too strong. Okay. Maybe he'll think here. Always feels good to like calculate and then just play all the moves of the calculation. I'm sure there are other ways to win, but uh, this looks like the most straightforward. I don't think he can stop queen, D queen to d3. Because there's so few resources to defend h7. Uh, nice game. I think that was a nice demonstration of uh, of attacking in the Grand Prix. This idea of uh, it's so unusual to put the bishop on b1, where it's essentially behind the pawn chain, but then to very soon just push all the pawns worked out nicely. Okay, back to tournament. Is it detecting my stream? Because it should say... Oh, it is detecting my stream. Okay. This is interesting. I'll play another E4 game. Playing Sono Toto 1. Never played them before. Decently rated rapid player. Uh, what do I play against e5? I'm trying to think of uh, some opening. I'll just play... Oh, I'll play an exchange Roy. Hopefully Toilet Noggin is somewhere on this planet. Playing the exchange Roy. Uh, but let's treat it a bit differently. I'm going to play b3 here. I just want to get a fresh position. I know this is a playable move. Um, probably not the most theoretical, but playable. As with Chris, I have no idea how they decide what names on the tournament page and on the front page. Um, are they featuring my stream? They should be. They better be. Hey, they are. Okay. Uh, let's play Bishop B2. Um... Yeah, I think they have some like system where if you stream for a certain amount of consistency, then they'll start putting you on the front page. Uh, okay, I'll play d3. We'll go for this typical Spanish knight maneuver. Help me bring the knight to e3. Also considering some idea like knight h4. But in this sort of structure, the f5 square could be very nice for uh, a white knight. Debating about move order. Okay, I'll start with this. Ooh, he wants to come to f4. So it's a battle between who can access these f4 and f5 squares. I could very easily play g3 and just completely restrict his knight.
He's going to play knight e6. He'll play g3 anyway. Because if he plays knight e6, then I'll play knight h4. And maybe he'll play g6. Whoa, I was not expecting that. The first thing that came to mind is knight take e5, queen h5. But his knight is defended by the bishop. But maybe there's some ideas. Okay, maybe I'll just do this. This is interesting. Because I want to play knight f5 and queen h5. I also just want to play queen h5 immediately. And if he plays g6, maybe I could still play knight f5. Because then I win the knight. This pawn structure gets a little messed up. Take on f2 though. I take back. We trade. Let's do it. At least try and make him think. The funny thing is, if he plays bishop f8, I was going to say I would have to move back, but maybe I don't. Maybe I just leave my guy on f5. And his knight is weird. I don't know if I want to take on d6. Bishop not doing anything. Okay, bishop d7. Play a4. Keep all the tension. Trying to discourage b5. Because there's some idea here to play a5 and then knight c4, where my knight would be a rock, and then he could, he would have a very hard time playing b5. All brown 87 having so much fun. It's good to hear. I don't know if I'm having as much fun, uh, just because chess is stressful. But um, I'm I'm still enjoying it. Uh, can I play this? Knight g5 and then h4. 86, h5 here, f4. Stuff is happening. Let's do it. There's so many pins. This is pinned and this is pinned. Chess is so confusing. But I'm going to play h4. And I think... White has some kingside attack. There's like all these pieces. And two knights, and the queen, and the rook. So much potential. Especially because h5 is a, a looming pawn break. If he takes and his knight is pinned. I'm ex expecting one of these moves, and then I play this, and he plays this. Whoa. I kind of forgot about h5. I don't think h5 is a good move, just because it looks weakening. I do. Wait a minute. Oh no, I didn't miss anything. Juan Fook G, thanks for the sub. At first I thought I could take and then knight h6 mate, but my bishop is blocked by this pawn. Okay, some kind of uh, weird hallucination there. I think I have to play queen e2. I don't think there's any reason to think queen e2. Thanks for the sub, J Shulman 7. So many subs. I haven't seen Wan Fook G in a while. Uh, but I haven't been streaming for uh, for too too much too recently. Uh, but yeah, it's good to be back. So now my knight is kind of actually attacked. I would like to play G four, but that allows knight F four. So 
I probably have to take the bishop. Even though I don't want to. I guess I don't have to. What else do I do? Rook g1. I could just go completely insane with rook g1 or g4, even queen f3. Knight d4 is annoying in many lines. Intsha, thanks for the follow. F four possibilities. Okay, I'm gonna combine ideas. I'm gonna play rook g one. It's a piece sack. You should probably calculate. Wait, that's just a bad line for white. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take the bishop. I'm not gonna sack a piece. Um, but I'm gonna try and prepare f four. Try and bust open some files. I guess I'm allowing knight d4. Then I decide between taking and queen d1. Um, queen a5 check. Forgot about that move. Is king f1? No, my king is safe on f1. I'd like to play knight c4. Just gotta manage my time. I really can't believe I'm actually almost making it until the end of this tournament. But my showing has not been great, given that I've I joined at the very beginning of the tournament. I've won all but one game, not even in top 10. Okay, I'm going to play queen d1. Because if I want to take, I can do so anytime. I might want to play c3. Uh-oh. Did I forget about this move? I forgot about that move. Thankfully, I have knight g2. That could be a bit annoying. It could be very annoying. So my king should probably... If I get the chance, should be on this square. Okay, he probably missed bishop h3. I'm gonna play king g2. Thanks for the follow, Mick Clinton, 11. Ben Feingold has only been mentioned once in the stream so far. <laughs> well, now he's been mentioned twice. Uh, do I take knight d5, bishop here, what to do? Oh, this is just a bad position. My knight belongs on g5. But how to get there? This is a bad position. I could take on f5 maybe? Takes with bishop, I take. We trade a bunch of things. But he has bishop c6, never mind. I could play c3. Then his knight just moves back. Okay, let's play c3. Need to move faster. Thanks for more follows for more people. The Gia Kometi. I think one of the ideas is that if he plays knight here, I can take. And we're actually just trading. And I'll reroute my bishop to this diagonal. And probably put the queen on e2, bishop on e3. Hmm, this looks playable. 
Nothing too tragic yet. I'll play rook f1. He's going to play rook f8. Because I want the bishop to come to g5. Or h6. Maybe bishop h6 and then bishop g5. Wait, do I have bishop f4 here? Bishop f4, and his rook is trapped. He would probably take... Take here... Play queen e4. Maybe I'll play... No, I can't play queen e4 because this hangs. Okay, I'm going to start with rook d1. Bishop f4 is an idea. I have to keep in mind. Um, Start with this. How can I play this pawn would hang? Okay, I'll play rook d2. Keep things defended. Now queen e4? No, that still loses a pawn. But maybe it's necessary. Oh, what to do? I can play rooks. No, I can't play rook c1. Looking for counterplay. I'm not seeing too much. And I'm low on time. I'm tired. This is so difficult. But what is he threatening? I'm going to play queen d1 and just wait and try and move faster. I think the plan is to bring the rook to e4. He wants to maneuver his knight, but he can't play knight f5. Oh my gosh, I just missed... I missed bishop take e7. But is this a queen trap? Oh my gosh. Wait, what's going on? I think he could have taken on g3 with the rook. I'm so confused right now. I, I just want a piece, which is nice. Um, but it's not over because I have less than a minute. I should have taken on e7 and just one material like a, a different way. But okay, g5 is coming. Also, my pawn is attacked. can't defend everything. I could play g4 maybe. g4 is actually kind of a nice move. Because then bishop g3. It solves both problems at once. Okay, 34 seconds. I have to play much quicker. Ah, that's really annoying. That's really, really annoying. What do I even do against this? Am I just losing? Oh, I could take. Wait, there's still hope. I have 14 seconds. Debating king h, king g8, king h8. I'll have more chances to mate him. <sighs> Ooh, that was a bad move. It was a really bad move. Okay, I think I'm going to lose this game. But I'm still going to try and fight. Kind of. Hey, I'm winning a rook. Uh-oh. 
This is bad. This is really bad. Can I mate him? Maybe. Please. Oh, if only I had more time. I think this would be holdable for a draw, kind of. Ah, uh, that was a good move. No, good game. Oh, what a disappointing game. I liked my position at some point until I didn't like it. Um, and then I just got low on time. Should I turn off my volume? Let me mute this tab. Uh, let's go back. I think there is just one simple moment. I was playing, like the one moment I played too quickly was after he played 97. Uh, in this position, I can just take the knight. Uh, analysis board. If I take the knight, and then this rook is overworked, take and then I win this. Otherwise, this should be an easier win. And then something weird happened, because... I played rook e4. Oh, maybe I was scared of rook take g3 for a split second. But then after take, take king h1. This is still probably good for white. So what happened? Take here. Yeah, the h file. He found the right plan. I should have put the rook on h1. It's tough to find these things with low time. Who is this? Isog. Been watching on YouTube. First time catching a stream. Nice. I think that's a lot of people. At least recently. Because like my, my previous streams that I upload to YouTube, people watch and then discover me uh, via YouTube and follow me on Twitch. Um, why do so many people play with no increment? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> most of the, uh, the arenas don't have increment. Um, and it's one of those things, it, has, it kind of teaches you how to manage your time. Um, except I, have <laughs> I haven't been taught that fully yet. Afton, thanks for the follow. Uh, is there time left in the tournament? Or is it over? Oh, there's 13 minutes left. Maybe I have time for one more game. It's weird. It's not detecting my stream. It should be. Because it's on the home page. It's very strange. I wonder if it, if it shows up for other people. Or it's just me idea well maybe i can finish in top 20 see if that's possible okay last game hey i'm playing colorado blunder who's the first seed let's try and take this seriously he's berserking and he's playing h4 i'm gonna play a reverse london because my favorite opening uh let's ignore what he's doing let's also try and get some rating points back with this game uh yeah i'm just gonna play a london 
nothing special. Oh my gosh, am I I already blundered a piece? Are you serious? Uh is this really a trap? How do I blunder a piece on move four? This is disgusting. Bishop g6, h5, bishop e4. What is this? This is really, really sad. I, I feel disrespected. So, I mean, there's ways to get counterplay. I have bishop g3 in some positions. So it's not that bad. What's the best approach? I should provoke f3. Okay, let's provoke f3. Zernuo, thanks for the sub. <sighs> bishop e7 or bishop d6? Or bishop g6. Or knight f6. <laughs> so many options. Kind of drawn to knight f6. Okay, I'm going to play knight f6. Maybe not the best option, but let's try and play quickly here. I might have to rely on time. Uh, now let's play bishop e7. He's going to play g5. I play h6. That's a good move. But he's still kind of having some problems, because I can take here. And then maybe play f5. I also have knight. <laughs> that would be weird. Let's play f5 first. He has knight f4. Hmm. Okay, this is going to get really weird. Because after knight f4, I'm going to play king d7. <laughs> This is very similar. Defending the pawn. Play a6 because I want to play c5. But maybe I should drop the bishop back first. Mm, yeah, let's drop the bishop back. Oh, and maybe I can just play c5 right away like very soon. Because knight b5, I can play knight c8. Okay, let's develop. <sighs> what a position. c3. It's king c7. Play king c7, then do some artificial castling. Queen e7. Probably queen d7. Someday I want to play e5. Whiskey Brown, thanks for the follow. You'll donate if I win with under promotion. Okay. Challenge accepted. Okay, I want to do this. It's always play King B8. Position is very solid. I love my pawn structure. Uh, let's not. Ooh. 
really don't want to trade. Okay, I'll just defend with the queen. Put the rook there. Dark light, N1. Thanks for the, the follow. King B8. I'm up on time. I'm not used to being up on time. G6 is weak. Okay, I want to play E5, but is it too soon? Uh, nah. Okay, I have one connect four. Play this over defend the pawn. Maybe rook e6. Because I might want to do this and win the pawn. Let's not trade queens. I just want to keep the game going for a long time. Hmm. Okay, he wants to play bishop h3. Maybe I'll play this. Getting off the diagonal. Someday I'll do this. I'll do this, because I want to do this and this. I'm just going to play rook a1. <clears throat> I think it's time to go for e4. Because d3 is a, a potential penetration point. Where after the trade I have knight e5, knight d3. Could get messy though. Let's have this move. <sighs> Problem is, F five is so weak. My knight is pinned to the rook. It's not an easy position. So knight e5, rook f1. Thanks for the host, Pepe. <laughs> it's not a good time for more people to be watching me, though. About to lose to this guy. Okay, I'm looking at knight e5 and queen e8. Hoping for some sort of counterplay. Let's do it. I don't think this is going to end well. But what else to do? Okay. Uh, knight e3? Or other knight moves? Some other knight moves. Knight c4. Hey, it's a cheer from Nathan. Thanks for the bits. I'm officially low on time, or down on time. What am I doing? Okay, let's go for knight d3. 
It's an outpost. Stuff is pinned. I think my position is just fa completely falling apart. Oh, but I have knight b5 in some positions. So let's try this in knight b5. Because I defend the rook. And maybe I have some cheapo sacks to make things work. But he's running mate on f8. Ouch. How do I defend? He's also threatening my rook. I guess I could take. Oh, everything's attacked. So sad. Take there. What to do? Searching for ideas. Not seeing much. Oh, wait a minute. I could take here and take the knight. Because then rook f8, rook e8, because my queen now defends. That's something. But it's not much. Queen b5. I still have an outpost though. Never resign when you have an outpost. Okay, let's play this. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He's threatening this mate and this mate. What do I do? Maybe rook here. Please take my rook. Please. Oh, uh, he's just toying around with me. Okay, I resign. That was really painful. He berserked me. He played a4, h4. He trapped me on move 4 with g4. What a trap. Keep this in mind. London trap. This makes me wonder. Like, uh, analysis board? Can someone just refute the London by playing... Let's imagine h5 here, e6, e3. Yeah, this would be a trap. Next person I play who I know plays in London, I'm going to try this uh, just to see what happens. The outpost is a decoration. That was a pretty good looking decoration, though. Was a clutch resign. Okay, well, is b5 good here in all caps? b5 is sometimes good. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe the, the stream thing hides. I don't know how the Leech S streaming detection system works. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully that was instructive for people. That was a bit painful. I lost a lot of games, which, okay, I probably deserve to lose some of those games. Um, but I think a combination of lack of time management, maybe talking too much and overthinking, uh, yeah, chess is tough. Um, I have no pending challenges. Because people are not allowed to challenge me, um, which is okay. I'll I'll change that. Uh, privacy always. There we go. Refresh. Such good interface saves automatically. Back to tournament. Back to homepage. Um, 
Hey, thanks for the follow, Rioni86. So yeah, if you're watching or you just joined, um, oh my gosh, so many people are challenging me now. Do I continue the stream? Uh, I just played two hours of chess. I think I'm going to end the stream. Um, I need to recover. Maybe next time I'll do a Q&A stream. So many people ask questions, which I feel bad not getting to. But I was a bit preoccupied. Nathan with the thousand bits. That was unexpected. Thanks, Nathan. Um, wow, that's a big cheer. Yeah, I'm going to drink some more of my chest tea. Uh, I showed this at the beginning of the stream, but this is my, my new tea. Uh, I had to buy it. I hope it doesn't have caffeine. I can't read Czech. Can anyone read this? I don't know if people can read this. Caffeine. I'll have to do some translation. Um, yeah, viewer challenges will probably have to wait until another time. Uh, but maybe we can play this guy. Toilet Noggin. 100 bits, thank you. We're going to play, play Pepe, because he, uh, he hosted me, or he raided me. Uh, <laughs> he challenged me to a one-minute chess 960. So hopefully we'll end on a good note. Uh, good luck, Pepe. Let's just castle. I'm going to follow opening principles. Uh, maybe we can castle queenside. Yeah, uh-oh. Wait, this is bad already. Uh, let's push pawns. Oh my gosh. This is really bad. Okay, I wanted to end on a good note. I could play knight c6. It's not too bad. Okay, this is my final game. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm accepting anything after this. Uh... Ooh. Okay, I can take and then this. Someday I'll win this pawn. Someday. Oh my gosh. I'm losing the exchange. Okay. And I'm low on time. I'm down on time. He's winning all my pawns. Good move. Okay, I'm gonna fight back here. Blockade the C pawn, avoid queen trades, always play A5. Maybe I can take on C2 someday. Draw, King A7. Oh no, he's mating me. No, he mated me. Thank Thankfully that was casual. Didn't lose any rating points. Okay, well I lied. We're not ending on a good note. Um, always play a5. Ben Feingold has said that, right? No, I don't think he's ever said that. Okay, good job, Pepe. Oh, Pepe played strong. Is he okay? Are, Pepe, are you okay if I call you Pepe? Or should I say Pepe Lou? Pepe is easier to say. Uh, bad mood Kanye, thanks for the follow. Okay, I'm going to end it here. Uh, thanks guys for watching. And goodbye.